are you? Scruffy, the janitor. I've never seen you before. I've never seen you before, neither. Taking place 1,000 years in the future, Futurama is nothing short of a bizarre reimagining of the world that we know today. Aside from all the comical gags and true genius behind the writing team, one of the most redeemable aspects of Futurama is its standout characters. I'm going to jump! No! Oh, do a flip! Welcome to The Rewind. Today, we'll be counting down the top 10 Futurama characters. Before we begin, make sure to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button for good luck. Number 10. Zoidberg This is Father Man. He fights crime to earn Sun Boy's respect. Is it working? This is sucky. You suck! At the very bottom, we have the oddly-mannered crustacean Dr. Zoidberg. He may not be the smartest or the strongest, but he's still a character that we cannot help but love. I mean, he's weird, funny, and has a unique way of looking at things. I'm sorry, don't hit me! <clears throat> Ooh, I like the way you hit. Number 9. Zap Brannigan The Killbots? A trifle. It was simply a matter of outsmarting them. Wow, I never would have thought of that. Up next, we have the arrogant captain himself, Zap Brannigan. He's a chauvinistic, womanizing, and incompetent captain, but he's also hilarious in his own way. Let's not forget, he's always there to inform Kith and the rest of his men of any time that he makes it with a woman. As my protege, you should know that the only way to deal with a female adversary is to seduce her. <sighs> Number 8. Philip J. Fry Hey, Leela, how about a kiss for good luck? I meant tongue luck. The time traveler from the year 1999 is the main protagonist of the show, and he provides us with a tangible connection to our own time. While every other character sees Fry as a fish out of water, his perspective isn't too far from how we would perceive the distant future. So, you know, it only makes sense that we sympathize with him, even when he makes questionable life choices. My coworkers, my girlfriend, I'll never see any of them again. Number 7. Professor Farnsworth We were supposed to make a delivery to the planet Tweenus 12, but it's been completely destroyed. Why is that good news? They paid in advance. Further down Fry's bloodline, we meet the crazy old coot himself, Professor Farnsworth. He invents many of the Planet Express gadgets and always has a new scheme up his sleeve. You know things are going to get pretty exciting whenever he shows up with good news for everyone. Good news, everyone. Several years ago, I tried to log on to AOL, and it just went through. Whee! Number 6. Scruffy the Janitor Who are you? Scruffy, a janitor. Well, why aren't you fixing the boiler? Schedule conflict. Who said background characters can't be fan favorites? Up next is Scruffy the Janitor. He's the silent but ever-present janitor who is always lurking in the background. Perhaps you might think you don't see much of him, but chances are you probably just never noticed him until he made himself known. Uh -huh. Don't pay me no mind. Number 5. Amy Wong You just have to give guys a chance. Sometimes you meet a guy and think he's a pig, but then later on you realize he actually has a really good body. Alright, halfway down the list we have the life of the party Amy Wong. She's the spoiled rich girl who's always happy to lend a hand or a credit card. She also happens to be a fan favorite for other reasons. Not to mention, she's got a pet nibbler. Like, who doesn't love nibbler? Hang on, Amy Wong of the Mars Wongs? Look, we're not as rich as everybody says. Number 4. Kiff Croker Kiff, stand in that hole so I look taller. <sighs> Someone we see spend a lot of time with Amy is Kiff Croker, also known as Zap Brannigan's loyal and long-suffering assistant. It isn't until he distances himself from Zap that we get to see his true colors shine. His interest in Amy, along with his soft-spoken nature, makes for some great and really awkward moments. Is that your camouflage reflex, or are you just happy to see me? Number 3. Roberto To show them who's crazy, I'll execute some of you. Ha! 
How about you? Ouch! That's going to bleed when my heart beats. All right, making it to the top three, we have an unexpected addition, Roberto the Evildoer. Roberto! This serial bank robber is a recurring antagonist in Futurama and an old friend to Bender. One of his most defining qualities is his obsession with shanking. The criminally insane man-bot will give high levels of discomfort, even to us as viewers, with how often he holds a knife out at unsuspecting people. Come out with your hands up. Never! Uh, other guy. Listen up, piggies! I want a hovercopter and a non-mark sandwich! Number 2. Leela. We better whisper. Switching to pillow talk mode. Look, what are those huge letters? Who's got one eyeball and a stunning lack of parents? Of course, it's Leela. She's the capable captain and the voice of reason in the crazy world of Futurama. She also plays a very critical role as Fry's love interest. This is wonderful. The last thing I remember, I was dying in an explosion. Yet here I am in the flesh, more alive than ever. And number one, Bender. Woo! Woo! What are you, deaf? Woo! And finally, we have, of course, the one and only Bender. He's the rude, crude, and hilarious robot that we cannot help but love. His sole purpose in life is being able to bend anything at his will, but more often than not, he seems to only apply that to his morals. He's unapologetic, not afraid to say what we're all thinking, and most of all, never fails to make us laugh. You know what happened to the last guy who told me to shut up? What? <sighs> that was great. All right, guys, that's gonna be it. What did you think of our list? Before you leave, don't forget to give this video a like and leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Check out these other videos from The Rewind, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of our future uploads.